गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन सर आपके यहाँ होते हुए एक्चुअली मैं क्या बोलूँ इस बारे में ये आपका ही सारा क्रिएट किया हुआ है और सब आप जानते हैं तो मेरे बोलने के लिए कुछ नहीं मैं तो बहुत बाद में आया हूँ मैं थोड़ा बहुत ये बताने की कोशिश करूँगा कि सी ने आपके डायरेक्शन में क्या किया आ, बाकी सर आप कंक्लूड करें सर तो एज फार एज सी पी डब्ल्यू डी इज़ कंसर्न टूवर्ड्स मेन स्ट्रीमिंग ऑफ इनोवेटिव कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्नोलॉजीज अंडर सर्स डायरेक्शन वी हैव एनलिस्टेड 50 सिविल कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड 22 इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड मैकेनिकल टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड एज वी डिस्कस इफ वी आर लुकिंग एट रिड्यूसिंग आवर कार्बन फुटप्रिंट एंड ओवरऑल एम्बॉडीड एनर्जी वी हैव टू लुक एट ऑल आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ बिल्डिंग Uh, when we talk of building construction it is not just the construction i mean in terms of energy uh, energy is involved in the initial construction then it's running and uh, finally even uh, in its final disposal so we have to look at all aspects uh, from that point of view if we see um, apart from the technic technologies which we have enlisted we have now recently tried to uh, put them into various categories so that it becomes easier for people to choose which particular technology is suited to their area uh, height of building uh, zone of uh, earthquake etc so that will be going a little far, uh, further in helping people in deciding on the choice of structure i mean structural technique or technology which they wish to adopt uh, further there are materials uh, which are as important as the technology itself like for example uh availability of river sand that is becoming a very serious issue and even is leading to delays in projects it is in many cases ports have prohibited it or it is just not available so use of uh, manufactured sand is very important similarly we are adopting it already similarly cnd waste we are using it for our construction projects uh, and self compacting concrete encouraging that this this is all civil side if we talk of the electrical mechanical side then using more efficient machinery and cooling systems like uh, uh, chillers uh, led lights fans heat pumps using geothermal energy etc we have made uh, dsr items and uh, analysis of rates we have also analyzed their relative cost benefit uh, uh, aspects so that it becomes easier for people to choose but uh, ultimately uh what how how to take it forward that was sir's question i would like to say two things uh one is very important is ultimately the user who is going to use that uh, structure which we are going to make his needs his comfort his uh, acceptance of the um, habit i mean uh, the the habitat being created uh, are very important whatever we do should is ultimately uh, for them more importantly we often face this issue we have to be from our side as well as from the client side more disciplined in our in our approach if we really want to make the system more efficient uh, i am saying this because so far the in general construction industry has been uh, not as disciplined as it should, could, could be uh, when we have moved forward to a large extent suddenly we find that the client changes their requirement and so far the traditional system of construction provides for flexibility aapne kaha ki nahi toilet idhar nahi udhar bana de aapne kaha nahi switch yahan nahi wahan laga de to jab tak eet ki deewar hai ya even fly ash brick ki deewar hai hum ye kar sakte hain but when we talk of uh, monolithic construction where, where there are rcc walls we have to be absolutely sure on day 1 where exactly what service is going to come which uh, electrical point is going to be where which toilet seat is going to be where which tap is going to be on which height and lateral distance from the wall you cannot provide those pipes later on so we all have to have a more disciplined approach if we want to really um, reap the benefit of these new technologies i think these are the points which i would like to make thank you sir for giving me the opportunity yeah.